Hello, Hamilton. Good, good morning. Good morning or good afternoon. Or good afternoon, whenever you're watching it. That's Today right. is Friday, October 8th, and we are excited to be with you. You. you Happy you. Friday. Happy Friday. And we have a new word. Fourth Here and fifth comes. grade. Fourth and fifth grade. Ambush. What does it mean? I don't know. Oh my gosh, but there's a big gorilla. It means to make a surprise attack. Oh, I, uh, I have a good example of ambush. Do you? I have three kids, and if on a Saturday morning, if Mr. Kilmer sleeps in too late, I get ambushed. Oh. They run in, and they jump, jump on me, on and they bed. say, Daddy, wake up, wake up, let's play. And then I'm a little grumpy, but then I have my coffee, and it's better. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I get ambushed by my dog, oh. Samson. That's He's what he does. Cute yeah, because my kids are too big. <laughs> but ambush. So ambush somebody with love. Yes, ambush somebody yes. with kindness. Yes. Ambush your teacher with working hard. Exactly. Surprise her. That'd or be, him. That'd be wonderful. Ambush him. Absolutely. Ambush him. I'm excited too because we're going to be talking about our famous Hispanic American. We're talking about Richard Carrizos today. Here we go. He was the first um, Hispanic person to become a four-star general in the United States Army. Four stars. That's a really important person in the, mm -hmm. in the military. He served in the Korean War and the Vietnam War. And he's received a bunch of different honors, including a Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, and the wow. Purple Heart. Wow. So he definitely, That's a lot. if I'm thinking about his individuality, he definitely has a lot of courage, bravery, and mm -hmm. he probably is, um, is, is a really hard worker. Yes. Yeah. I bet he is. So I'm glad we got to learn about Richard Cabezas today. I bet he's very organized too. You know, most military people are. I wonder if one, maybe some of you will be in the military one day. Maybe yeah. you'll earn some of those amazing honors as exactly. well. Exactly. And be very organized. Yeah. All right. I got my joke for you. Okay, here we go. There's our bucket. Ready? Mm -hmm. What is a monster's favorite cookie? Favorite, favorite cookie. Now, not yours, but a I monster's. Like, well, I like every cookie. That's true. So, I, I don't know. Ah. Uh, Okay. I know if it was Cookie Monster, he would like every cookie, but That's it's just true. a monster. It's not Cookie Monster. Okay. Right. I'm so, ready. So they like Ghoul Scout cookies. Oh my goodness. That's such a good one. I like Ghoul Scout cookies. Ghoul too. Scout cookies. That is so funny. Probably the Thin Mints. Uh, <laughs> I definitely like those. We also have some birthdays to celebrate. So Lakin in Miss Hollenbach's class, your birthday is today. Happy birthday. We hope you have a great day. And over the weekend, we have Layla in Ms. Musser's class. Happy birthday. And Kylie F. in Mr. Yasinski's class. Happy birthday to you too. Happy we hope birthday. you girls have great birthdays this yes. weekend. Get to have a fun time. That's right. All right. Well, Hamilton, we hope you have a great day. Yes, I We, we hope do. you have a great weekend. We do. We'll see you again on Monday. We will see you on Tuesday because... On Tuesday. Because I'm so glad that they you won't be here me. on Monday. Yes, we. There's no. That's a good reminder. There's no school on Monday, so make sure you tell mom and dad, tell everyone at home. You get to stay home. You get to sleep in. Hopefully, you don't get ambushed by anyone. Exactly. And oh. we will see you on Tuesday. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Bye. Have a great week. Bye.